I'm coming to you from the home of Nancy Beaver. Uh, she is one of the most beautiful artists and painters that we've had here at the uh, Sarasota Pen Women. And currently I am here at the home of Nancy uh, while we're having a luncheon. And so a little bit later on, I'm gonna get a chance to talk to some of the other pen women to ask that question, who in the world are the pen women? So stay tuned. being a member of Pen Women and, and uh, it has helped my writing because I have a writing group that we is formed of Pen Women but I also like knowing people who do other things. I'll never do art. I know I won't except the cover of a book. Um, but well, I've that's loved art. it. That's art. That's I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I never say never. Yeah. You never know. I agree with you on the three different fields that we have represented through the Penn Women's Organization. Um, I can be a member of many, many art groups in Sarasota, but I really enjoy the Penn Women because of the fact that you people introduced right. me to the wonderful world of writing and also to the music, which um, I knew nothing about, really, before I became um, a Penn Woman. Hmm. Well, for me, uh, serving as president this past year, we've really made an effort to do workshops to really reach out to the community. But our own community has responded. And so you had artists coming to the writing workshops, which was really a lot of fun. And I did a calligraphy workshop uh, so that people who had not done art before got an introduction to art with something that they already know, which is making letters. And so the interdisciplinary um, relationship that we have between art, writing, and music allows us all to grow and expand, and that is what really excites me. Because being a writer for so long, now I'm starting to do art, and that's really exciting. So together we grow. Maddie, your turn. I'm washing dishes. <laughs> And I'm helping her on these What would you like to questions. You can ask the questions and I'll answer. Uh, well, how do you feel, what are the feelings that you feel being a pen woman and how do you feel about having discovered being, being able to become I was a kind of dragged in at the beginning, but I loved it. And I've stayed, I don't even remember when I, I, I Barbara Harrison kind of dragged me in. She said, you have to join. It wasn't like, do you want to join? No, you no, you have to join. I think that's a good good technique, by the way. You don't you don't just say would you like to join? You have to join. It's, you have to, and that's it. This is what you need to do, and let's get to it. 
just she was very very you know very blunt and so I joined I mean I'm the kind of person I guess I sort of follow somebody who's very emphatic and then I liked it so I stayed I mean I don't I wasn't gonna stay if I didn't like it so I'm still here we're glad that says something very much Oh. <laughs> okay, I have two important things, I think, that signify what, why I feel such an affinity um, toward um, my, my fellow pen women. <laughs> that doesn't sound like right. it. Fellow pen women. At any rate, one is that uh, whether you're a, a writer, which is what I am, or an artist, or a musician, there's a shared, everyone understands the creative process. And it doesn't matter what the field is, but that creative process. Mm -hmm. And so Absolutely. I feel this is natural association. And um, as far as uh, the other thing is, of course, sharing. Um, the Sharing the ability that I have with others in the community who you know might want to to do the same thing is is something that I derive great pleasure from and so that's what keeps me working to try to get other people to feel good about themselves mm. and their talent and to bring out their talent mm. and that's why I serve of course I have not had an opportunity to write because I've been so busy being the vice president <laughs> so <laughs> mm. <laughs> at any at any rate um, I love you all. <laughs> we love you. Yeah. How do yeah, I see. feel? How do I feel about the pen women? No. Yeah. Very pensive. More <laughs> <laughs> spices. And nice. she's a stand-up too. <laughs> and also, I really enjoy the companionship and the company. It's nice to talk to real artists that are interested in the kind of things I'm interested in, and we're all a little bit left side brained anyway so <laughs> nice nice and comfortable and wonderful group and they do good things for the community and help people too mm -hmm. as well as show and and we just have fun and so yeah. our patron patrons are patrons. well patron matron um i knew right away i wanted to be associated I always felt that artists, though, were very secretive about their work, but I feel like at Penn, now they feel like opening up and sharing what they do and how they do it. So I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> How's the ride? It's a good ride. <laughs> nice women, good women. Last but not least, Last Ms. but not Marcia. least, yes. I feel honored to be in this group. And to the intellectual, besides all your talent. It's the intellectual stimulation that really is the delight mm -hmm. and the sharing of it all. And there's, even though we have all this great talent, and I can see we have all this talent, nobody's arrogant, nobody really thinks that we're, it's just wonderful. It's really what makes Sarasota worth being. Here. Yep. Amen. And yeah, it's a have, transfer. We have a, a, a tentative member. Yes, Let's get a, a I got a word from her about her experience today. And um, I have my application ready to go. And I'm, Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm waiting for October, is it 19th or 9th, um, to get my interview. So I'm ready to go. Are you art or music? Or? I'm, I'm visual arts and also I'm, I'm writing. So. Good luck. Um, I think for me, um, I, spell, I spent a lot of my ch childhood uh, thinking about things in my head, hearing voices, and not schizophrenia voices, voices. You know, you, we all know what, what we're talking about when we say that. Voices, we see colors, we hear music, we do all kinds of crazy things. And so I thought to myself, it's bad enough going to school in first grade and trying to explain who my father was, you know, he was a, because everybody that I knew prior to that, everybody's father was a singer or a trumpet player or something. But long story short, 57, I was 57 when I walked or actually saw Wilma and Barb 
And when I first walked in, I said, there's people like me. I love it. I thought that I would never find you. And, and it's true. And it's true. And I'm so, so glad, so glad that I did. And that's, that's, that's the, uh, the epitome of being an artist for me. We are the pen women.